Hello guys and welcome back to another video of mine. Today I'm back again with another tag video, which is the Victorian literature tag, and I was tagged by the lovely Yamini of the Skeptical Reader, who is uh, the co-host with four other booktubers lady of Victober. If you have not heard of it or haven't watched my last three videos, it is uh, a really long launch throughout the whole month of October where you read Victorian books. It can be non-fiction, fiction, poetry, essays, memoir. Yes, just to be Victorian books. So now let's get started onto the books. Onto the question, sorry. Yeah. First question, first piece of Victorian literature you ever read. For this one I'm going to go with Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I read this six or five years ago. Remember enjoying it, but now when I think of it, I'm not sure if I enjoy it because of the film, the 2005 adaptation with Kira Knightley, or something else. I would like to re to reread it in English for that reason because I would like to actually remember or find out if I loved it, loved it, or what I thought of it back then. So yeah. Second question: Favorite Victorian novel. For a long time, for, for the past two years, it has been Jane, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte because I love Jane Eyre depiction, um, her character. I related to her a lot, not always to her decision, to what she did, and I hate she needs to register for me, it doesn't even exist, so whatever. But I love the description, the atmosphere, the writing, the stance she had for women, for young women especially. I feel for a young girl, this is absolutely important and I feel like a lot of people can read it, um, you know, it's not for a specific audience, although it will help, it's specifically young people, so yeah. But recently, I read The Tenant of Winter Hall by Anne Bronte, which is about abusive relationship, sorry, which is something that wasn't talked about at all. It's like one of the... I assume, I'm assuming, I might be wrong, I don't want to to go there being certain, but from what I've read so far, I have never read something which is so honest, bold, and I don't know, straightforward, and I loved it. I love straightforwardness, I love when people say what they think, how they feel, and you can say it without being rude, you know? Being honest, you don't have to be like doesn't have to be depicted as rudeness whilst being polite as hypocrisy so yeah I really really love um, Helen's character who is the main character and the tenant with the whole but I have to say I prefer Gilbert's uh, narration so yeah I'm going to talk more about this one in a little review so I won't say too much here to you know lengthen the video uh, third, uh, third question, favorite Victorian author? I'm going with Anne Bronte. Yeah. Fourth question, favorite Victorian couple? I have to go with a um, Northern South couple. I can't know, not, mm, I do not remember the name. Although I watched the BBC adaptation and really loved it. I was, I loved it. That's why I also want to read the actual novel because I haven't read it yet. I'd like to read it. This November or October or December before the year the year ends and yeah. And I've also talked about it with the Yamini. She said that the BBC adaptation kind of helped her, you know, helped her, kind of uh, made her love the book even more. So I'm feeling like thanks to the BBC adaptation I'm going to love it more. And yeah, we shall see. Then Favorite Victorian villain. I have to go for Moriarty from the Sherlock Holmes series. Yet, I love him very much, a lot more because of the TV series with the um, English TV series with Bailey Cumberbatch and Martin Friedman and shit. I don't remember Moriarty's uh, name, like the actor. But whatever. I haven't read much of the Sherlock Holmes series, like I've only read this one and I did not like it very much, so yeah. I prefer the TV shows, but whatever. He's a Victorian villain. Then, 
six return third return book where someone dies of consumption i'm gonna pass this one because i don't have an answer well i have a negative answer yeah. seventh question longest return novel you have read you have ever read i'm going with the tunnel of winter hall which is 500 and 90 pages i'm going to mention it quite a lot so yeah and then eight a written author or book that you love and feel is underrated once again the tenant with the whole i do not absolutely for the life of me do not understand how this one is less known than this one this is interesting yes this like Heathcliff being associated with a romantic figure with a romantic hero I don't understand it Catherine she's the same for me she's a jerk taking advantage of a condition to have her own way but at the same time I'm not saying the way she is isn't is not necessarily a uh, true or, or you know like I don't know is not false but I did not like the most of the character here I still enjoy it more than I thought I would but yeah I was so mad so pissed all the time and I did not understand why most if not all of these char characters bothered with each other whilst they seem to age each other's guts so yeah whatever I'm going to talk about it also in a little review as well so stay tuned for that thank you then, ninth question, most beautiful edition of both that you own. Before, I would have said the Penguin English Library because I really love the way they look. They're quite simple and they feel rubbery, at least the old one because the, the new ones are like papery. I don't like that. But now, I have to say I'm falling more and more for the vintage classics, which also looks pretty on the shelf and I love the um, end paper especially the Janosian edition because the end paper as you can see here looks uh, is actually the cover of one of the other books I like that very much then last question 300 return books you want to read the first one is Northern Pals by um, Elizabeth Gathcole, which I don't have the physical copy with me here because I left it in Paris. The two other are Middle March by um, John Elliott. Since I can remember, I've been meaning to read this one. I don't even know why, but I'm attracted to it. I bought it and it's been sitting on my shelf for the past three years. Then we have Little Girls by Charles Dickens, the only Charles Dickens. I'm feeling like reading because it's a pop of Victorian literature and also I want to read this one because I read, watched the BBC adaptation and really really loved it. I watched it whilst I was studying for my exam. You know, I love it so much that every time I will take a break from my study, I will watch it. But as you can see, both of those books are like super big and almost 1000 pages each so i'm feeling like oh something to read then early 2007 because i have all the books i want to read before, before the year ends and those are too big for me yeah so bonus question which is favorite novel by either thomas hardy charles dickens the bronte sister Anthony trollope and elizabeth gaskell i can only answer for the Bronte sister because I've now read Woodland Heights, Jen Eyre, and The Tenet of Winter Hall. I am going for this one because Jen Eyre has already enough of popularity, although I love it as well. So, yeah, that was it for my Victorian tag. Thank you very much for watching. I am tagging Valentina because she read uh, with me. But, um, what is it? Two of the Bronte sister books, and she also read, she has read other 
Johnny Classic, if I'm not mistaken. Like she's quite knowledgeable when it comes to classic, which is not really my case, at least lately. So thank you for watching. If you have uh, read any of those books, let me know in the comment down below. If you still want to join for the last week of Victoria, do not hesitate because Victoria is amazing. Thank you for watching and bye bye.